show you that post-trippers actually make Jesus Christ a liar. Let me show you that. John chapter 14, verse 16. What is the Holy Spirit? What Jesus Christ calls the Holy Spirit the Comforter. Let me show you that. John 14, 16. This is Jesus speaking. And I will pray to the Father that he shall give you another Comforter, that he may abide with you forever. If you jump down to verse 26, he says, he identifies what the Comforter is. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father shall send, or will send in my name, he shall, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. And he says this in other verses too. John chapter 15, verse 26. Let's go there. He says the same thing about the Holy Ghost. John chapter 15, verse 26. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. And again, in John 16, 7, he says the same thing. John 16, 7, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is expedient for you that I should go, I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter which or will not come unto you, but if I depart, I will send him unto you. So he, in these four verses, he calls the Holy Spirit a Comforter. But this is a problem for post-tribbers, because how is it a comfort knowing that you're going to go through God's wrath and face God's judgment and face all this other horrible stuff in the time of Jacob's trouble? How is that a comfort? Not to mention the fact that every Pauline epistle promises peace to the saints. Um, how is that peace? How is that a comfort? Knowing that you're going to face God's wrath. And if you read Revelation chapter 5 and Revelation chapter 6, it's God. He's the one pouring out the seals. I mean, the Bible does say we go through tribulation, but it's not God that's doing it. So how is it a comfort knowing that you're going to face God's wrath and anger? Hmm? How does that work? post trippers make Jesus Christ a liar. And they, have a, and, they, and they have a false Holy Spirit, too, I'll put it that way. They have a false Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is a comforter, but it's not very comfort, comforting knowing that you're going to face God's wrath and judgment. So, I wanted to show you guys that. post trippers make Jesus Christ a liar. In John 14, 16, John 14, 26, John 15, 26, and John 16, 7. They're heretics. So don't be deceived by this satanic post-trip rapture. I'm going to come out with more stuff exposing it. It is very, very satanic and wicked. Don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye. Thank you.